Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, we're at the tail end of the last episode. The Grand Master of the Order of St. Anthony declared a war for Yusuf's claim on Gafsa. Which is interesting. I'm uh, not entirely sure what's happening here. But this is declared on us, so I guess we'll deal with it. I mean, they don't have that many troops. I think we just raise vassal levies. Group these guys up. These guys would attack over here. These guys are irrelevant. Like, we don't need these troops up. These troops are irrelevant to this. There we go. Over this way, we don't need any European troops. And everybody over here... I mean, they can take care of these little stacks, I guess. And we can put down these guys as well, as these guys. There we go. Okay. I mean, this shouldn't be a big deal. We're just allowing the morale of this army to regenerate before we come fight, and we'll bring in these reinforcements as well. So all of these troops here are grouping up, and these guys are going to be in Demot in just a moment, and we'll attack them. Excellent. I kind of want to go take out this army over here on the way, and then we'll come over here. They can't even see here. Like, I'm, I'm so confused by what they think they're going to achieve with this war. They're going to attack Fitri. Whatever. Like, the Order of St. Anthony is not very strong. There we go. That's, like, half of their army gone. Right there. So you guys are going to group up over here, and it looks like they're just continuing to push over here. They just raised up an additional two there. Okay. And yeah, we're trying to kill the King of West Francia's son a little bit. We don't like this guy. Like, this guy is... We're, we're not fans. I'd like to invite them to, to our court, but there's no way that he's going to do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, Order of St. Anthony is actually coming back to fight us. Oh, they decided against it. Probably for the best. We'll group up these two forces. And then we'll go chase them down. These troops we no longer need up. These over here we can keep up for now, I guess. We can put in some leadership. There we go. And we should be able to catch these guys. They're going to be in mountains, but we don't care. We should have the numbers on them just fine. And I'm just wondering, they keep getting these little one stacks. Like, these, these tiny little stacks. Where's their primary war score at? This is their war goal here. Which I suppose we could just put our retinues there. And they'll never take it. We don't appear to have ticking war score. That was only 2%. I don't know what this guy is even doing. I find this whole war to be very strange. I'm just gonna put down those vassal levies and we'll fight with these. Like, they have no armies left. Well, we're only at 9% war score. Even though this is a defensive war, I'm very confused right now. Oh, they went this way? Okay, we'll chase them. 
We're at 132.9% on killing the Prince of West Francia. Unfortunately, the Prince of West Francia is uh, in hiding. That is certainly problematic. Okay, they're going to head to Napata, which is fine. Or no, they're heading to Darfur. We'll chase the primary force here. And we're at 14% war score here. Surely we're going to be getting ticking war score soon. Like, they're going to fail to occupy the war goal entirely. They never had a chance to occupy the war goal, in fact. How many troops does this guy actually have? Almost none. That's exciting. I guess we'll we'll just keep looking for scraps of war score. Like he can't siege anywhere. There's very little he can actually do. However, we can start upgrading some of our hospitals if we don't have any uh, castles to upgrade, which I'm not sure if we do or not. Let's double check that. Desert Cavalry? Okay. Yeah, that'll do. And then over here, we don't have anything that's fully upgraded. And yeah, okay. So in just a couple hundred gold. That'll be great. He's never going to take the war goal. Okay, now we're getting ticking war score. That's good. With that being the case, I wanted to stack wipe that force. Got a 1050. We allowed this force to lock in. Which they will do now. And we come take them over here. This is his only other significant army. Everything else has, like, maximum of four in the army. That one has 47. Okay. I think we can safely put down our realm levies at this point. Where did this army come from? Oh, I guess he just raised it. Whatever. It's fine. I mean, he's not... Even with... Having 1,700 men, he's not going to be able to do anything. We do need a new Chancellor, and we will, of course, have him sowing descent in the Byzantines. We have our designs on West Francia. I really, really want this kid dead. Great Holy War for Saxony. It's no concern of ours. Maybe West Trancia will get something more out of it. Are they getting declared on? It's a de jure war. Defending against Austrasia. Well, he's trying to free himself from the suzerainty. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and upgrade ourselves a hospital. There we go. So yeah, I mean, sure, they have tiny amounts of troops here and there, but it's also irrelevant amounts of troops. Like, they're not going to take this war goal, and they're not going to be able to siege anything. And we're getting ticking war scores, so at this point, I feel like we just ignore... Hi, Aztec Revolt. The poor Aztecs. They've done so poorly this game. I really feel bad for them. I was really hoping that they'd be another an, another force to be reckoned with on the on the level of the Byzantines. Like the Mongols could have been that force, but they declared on us and Yeah, he's got 4000 troops. Poor Mongols. No, I, I didn't want to talk to China. Hmm. 
Okay, so this guy is... He's got some money. His troops are pretty decent. Of course, we're not going to fight him. I really want this kid to die. Like, really badly. We just inherited the Kingdom of Jerusalem, though, and we need to deal with that. So our mother just died, the Queen of Jerusalem. Died at the age of 72. We are currently 42. And Jerusalem needs to get broken up. Now, these are retinue troops. And they're decent retinue... Well... That's a lot of light infantry. There's some decent retinue troops here. So we can reorganize this. And we want any of the heavy cavalry retinues like this. This we don't want. This is a defense retinue. We can take that. This is a heavy cav retinue. So these guys over here, we would want to disband because they're light infantry. And these over here, we want to keep. They come on over. That puts us basically at our retinue cap. In fact, we could grab a shock retinue. And so we are. So we shall. We'll take him up over this way as well. Fantastic. And now we need to reorganize Jerusalem. Which is going to be interesting. So we have a lot of titles. And a lot of these aren't relevant right now. But, like, the, the there's counties that we need to hand out. So let's do that first. We need to hand out, I believe, four counties? Something like that. Hello. This is de jure part of Jerusalem currently. No, it's de jure part of Syria. Okay. So we definitely need to create the Kingdom of Syria and Arabia. Duchy of Edessa needs to be created. And then Kingdom of Syria, yes. Maghreb, is this a... That's a titular title. That isn't... We aren't going to do that. This duchy isn't our responsibility. The Kingdom of Arabia we create, definitely. And the Duchy of Tripoli isn't really our responsibility either. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it. So the only one here that we're not going to create is the Duchy of Suze, which is this duchy. And the titular title of Maghreb, because we have the king title. I don't know why there's a titular title. It's kind of weird. But uh, we need to set up some things over here. But first, we need to invite a holy man to the court. And we will grant this guy the county of Acre. We'll invite another one. And we'll grant this guy the county of Deer. Excellent. We will create another one. And we'll grant him the county of Jerusalem. There we go. Invite another one and grant him the county of Hebron. And another one and grant him the county of Samara. Now, we're at 8 out of 11 domain size. And I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be at 9. We hold Trinkatat. That's fine. Oh, this guy holds Masawa. He's an infidel, so only Sunni vassals will object. I'll allow it. Okay, so, as far as does your duchies go, what duchies do we hold? We hold the Duchy of Tripoli, Edessa, Samara, Jerusalem, Axum, Blamia. Okay, so we're Duke of Blamia, which is fine. We're supposed to be that. The Duke of Axum is also supposed to be something that we hold. The Duchy of Samara is not. What's the Dejure capital here? This one. Grant landed title. Duchy of Samara. 
There we go. Excellent. What other duchies do we need to hand out? We've got Edessa. So this guy is de jure the Duke of Edessa. Duchy of Edessa, including lower titles. Fantastic. And then we also need to hand out the Duchy of Jerusalem, which is, of course, de jure held by the trade post of Jerusalem, apparently. Grant landed title. Duchy of Jerusalem. And he's probably also going to become the king of Jerusalem. We'll hand that out in a moment, because we need to hand out some other kingdom titles first. Let's see. Duchy of Tripoli. Which is de jure this guy's. Grant landed title. Duchy of Tripoli, including lower titles. Fantastic. So that puts us at a decent point for our vassal limit. Next. We have two kingdoms to hand out. The kingdom of... Actually, more, more than two. The kingdom of Syria here. And we should be on de jure kingdom map mode at this point. Let's see. This... What is the de jure capital of Syria? Probably... Damascus? Yep. Okay. We'll grant this guy the king of Syria title. Including all lower titles. There we go. Fantastic. Next up... The Kingdom of Arabia. Which, what is the de jure capital here? Like Mecca? Yes, Mecca. So the Duke of Hejaz here would become the King of Arabia, including lower titles. There we go. Fantastic. And now we hand out the Kingdom of Jerusalem to this guy. Grant landed title. Kingdom of Jerusalem, including lower titles. Okay. I think we're good to go. Now, this is de jure... Well, us, of course. But uh, part of Egypt currently. He's king of Egypt and Iraq. He's on Ignatic Gavilkind, but he only has the one son as they often do. Well, regardless, we got Jerusalem pretty heavily broken up there, which is a very, very important thing. Now, I do want to put in a court physician. There we go. And I think we're good to go on that front. Excellent. So that did get us three kingdom titles. Yeah, that guy's upset that we took back Masawa, which I, I accidentally granted it to him. I did not mean to. We're at 37% war score now against the uh, Order of St. Anthony. I don't know why they declared this, but whatever. You know... These rebels over here are not in the defensive pact. We have raised army levies? I must have missed putting down some realm levies. There we go. Now we could holy war for either of these counties. Not both, but either. And I think I'll go for this one. So we'll march our retinues over here. Excellent. There we go. We may or may not end up getting this. That's the Aztec Revolt, and they're going to fight the Aztec Empire. Yeah, that's fine. We're currently hostile to the Aztec Empire due to a war on their rebels. But I'm not too concerned. Yeah, the King of Maghreb just created the Duchy of Su. I'm, I really don't understand why the titular title of Maghreb exists. It's really weird. I'm pretty baffled by that one, if I'm honest. Well, we got some good realm structuring done over here, which is always nice to have done. 
Yemen really needs to get broken up. Really badly. Can we demand Gavelkind? We can. We were just defeated over here. These are our retinue troops. They just walked right through these guys. Oh, she'll do it for 500 gold. Yeah, do it. Absolutely. Okay, we'll just see if we can make our way through here like so. Excellent. Okay, this is not our problem. This is just on the guy that we're focusing on. I really want this kid to die. Sadly, he is in hiding. They've had another daughter. That's not an issue. They're an agnetic, cognatic primogeniture. So we're not going to have an issue with that. Okay, come on, retinues. We gotta get here fast. Go, go, go. That's not any of our business. Okay, and we should be able to assault this pretty easily. Oh, yeah. This'll be great. Okay, we have groomed in air, so we can now switch over to, I guess, make a friend. Since we have nothing else available, we'll be able to... Oh, we can't assault this because the fort level is six or above. We'll invite King Nicholas over. He's a little busy right now, I'm sure. And we might be uh, currently attempting to murder his heir a little bit. Let's see. We could provoke him, apparently. Try to influence him into adopting one of your personality traits. That's interesting, but that's not what we're looking for. A Monophysite Uprising has just come up. Where is this? That is in Egypt. We're going to have to route these retinues around. But that's not our problem. So we'll do something like that. Okay. So we are, of course, going to assault this if we can. It's going to be close. But I really want to grab this county, if at all possible. And then we just give that to the king, and he can do with it as he pleases. And yeah, Egypt has that well under control. 2464? Yeah, we'll have to actually siege that. It's okay. So the Order of St. Anthony is currently at 50% war score. And hopefully that gets taken care of pretty soon. We're at 52%. This ticking war score is not going very quickly. I mean, I suppose we could siege some of their holdings? Yeah, these are held by the Order of St. Anthony. A traveling witch claims she can provide poisoned candies, which could be smuggled in as a gift. That's a lot of gold. I'll hire her? We can't afford to give her extra resources, though. Okay. So that puts us at 39%. We'll go fight their... Uh, main force over here as we swing by up to attack here. The poison candies. Oh, the plot was revealed. Well, that's okay. This guy's super angry at us. Like, super-duper angry. 
Can't afford to send him a gift, but that's okay. We're gonna keep trying. Actually, how's our plot power looking? Not so great. I mean, it's it's fine, I guess. So we'll go ahead and attack over here. No worries there. Get these retinues grouped together. Excellent. Yeah, I'll take a prestige hit. Not too concerned about that. At any rate, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode we will finish up this war. Hopefully we'll get this county out of it, and uh, then we will also finish up this war with the Order of St. Anthony, and maybe look for some extra opportunities. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.